can't get in touch with Lord Crump. Yeah, correct, sir. We're investigating now. We should hear any time. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. Yes, what's it? I have a report, sir. The Crystal Star in the Boggle Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Siren? Uh, uh I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm. Disturbing. This Mario character. What kind of? Speak up, X Not. What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. You're still searching for the other stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We need to three of them. Hotel, Boggly Woods, and the one and the one we got in Rogueport. That means there are four crystal stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking as that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir! As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has the map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. It's kind of random to say. Oh, Mario. Did you read the mail I sent you, I wonder? I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing in the castle. Oh, I never... Will I never dance with the mushroom ball again? What, what will become of me? Hello and welcome everybody. This is Yoshi Leobach. This is time for another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In this episode, we get to play as Peach. Oh, is this text on again? <laughs> yeah, so this is... Yeah. Um... So yeah, in the last episode we got the Crystal Star, as you, as you, uh, saw from the intro here. Um, in this episode we're gonna figure out what we have to do next by playing as Princess Peach. Hello, Princess Peach. I'm glad you came. That mail is sent to Mario. Did it reach him alright? Yes. I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I'm sorry, Princess Peach. I've been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. You said that I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would have produced the impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find what caused it? The reason behind such a feeling, Tech? Why don't you do something together is... It's part of love. I know it. But then again, you're, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. What am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre. And how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. Would this be acceptable dance substitute? And that the fan fiction commence. Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? <laughs> Alright, I guess. <laughs> I must say though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. Okay, so this one is pretty much press buttons. Yeah, press buttons as, the, as they're displayed on the screen. So, let's see, I believe. Right there. I don't think he does anything. Actually, looking at it, I don't think he used the Y button. I think he just changes changes the direction that they're moving. Like B spins them one direction, X spins them the other. That's about, that's about it. Thing from this beach that was very fun. Just a moment. Fun? Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? Prince Peach, I'll fulfill my promise to you. Please take 
Please use my communicator. Use your keyboard to send whatever message you want. Now, I can't remember if I said this before in the first time we met Tech, but, you know, the internet is a wonderful place to find out about knowledge. Of course, if he, uh, if he had access to the internet, it'd probably be a bad thing for Tech. I don't even have a computer that's scarred for life with, you know, crappy YouTube comments and, well, <laughs> let's say things that you do not want to see. The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. When to analyze the data from the stands immediately. Data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you're mistaken. I'm the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. No, no, honestly, how did you know that it takes a weird computer? Because, I mean, think about it for a second. The Mushroom Kingdom doesn't have any computers. It's like no te almost no technology in the Mushroom Kingdom. <clears throat> anyway, I'm pretty sure it's up ahead here. Your Lord Bowser! This guy wore the Prince Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. Those fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> My lord, you're so super. And now we start the Super Bowser Brothers section. <laughs> I am not even kidding. This is Mario Brothers, but done with Bowser. Of course that happened. No, I might as well. Right there, you see, you can die. Uh, we got infant lives, and every time you die, Bowser says something different right up there. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much played just like Mario Brothers, except you can press B to shoot fire. And whenever you get, and instead of getting mushrooms, you get hunks of meat. And you can also destroy the pipes. Wow! Uh, right there you saw us go into super form. Uh, we died right away. I, I did not know you could actually die like that. Um, that has never happened before. I usually die before I can actually get a hold of it. Um, yeah, this is pretty much an excuse to say, hey, let's get Bowser and Mario Bros. game. Right here at super form, we can pretty much just plow through everything. Keep collecting those, I think, keep refreshing. Um, yeah, this is this is pretty much mind numbingly easy. And no in a battle with normal size you just I think go through the castle and and into the door. Um, I think you would anyway. Yeah, as you can tell that was a pretty short segment. <laughs> oh hey, welcome. Oh, hey, welcome to Pelbergen. Eek! Fire, I'm on the hide! He's gonna need, I think he's gonna need a new shell after that. <laughs> what a wuss. Yes, hide, chickens. Yes, hide. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. This is... Lord Bowser, over there! Hey look, there's a princess! Bingo, Princess Peach! Man, that was easy! I found you, my princess! I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. <coughs> now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. <laughs> Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's been less speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> Graha! -ha! I see, I see. How refined. How elegant. Awesome. Suppose I could live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know. <coughs> no! <coughs> That's voice starting to. Scratch my throat a bit. My, my last treasure! I'm gonna die and get my life size peach poster! 
saying? Look at Bowser's expression. <laughs> what the? P poster? Oh my goodness me. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> great. That's great. Now I look like a huge mighty king of the guy who talks to posters. That's like one of my favorite lot scenes from the game, too. Um, yeah, that ends the Bowser and Peach segments, so let's kind of move on, shall we? <laughs> 11 minutes into the video already, and it's like, nothing happened. Oh, uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. Excuse me. Burped right there. You know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pet. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, my voice is. Hmm. I do love pontificating, so come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please come back and visit. Oops, watch for you. We'll work together from uh, on prevent anything that gets from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the Crystal Stars. <laughs> oh, this shouldn't be our last visit. Certainly not. But until then, ta ta! See you, Mr. Mario. <laughs> Did Mario just give him the, the How Hitler? I'm so, I'm sorry, but that's so it looks. I know it's supposed to be like just him waving goodbye, but still, can't help but see that that looks like. <laughs> and the fact that he has a mustache doesn't bode well. And I'm I'm trying. Oh, it must be me. It sounds like some mail. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The, feel, the fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the Crystal Stars. I'll, tr <clears throat> I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again I, if I uncover anything, okay? I miss not I miss you. Lately I've dreamt about our days back at the castle. We'll spend carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. Did they ever spend any carefree days there? I mean, it's almost like... A, P Princess Peach got kidnapped so many times, it's like pretty much a, on a weekly basis. I'm feeling certain Bowser was on her collar I was on everyone's collar ID. Hell, there will be Brawl parody that that fact that it's always Bowser. Even after he technically became a Buddhist priest. <laughs> or Buddhist monk or whatever it was. Um Actually no, I think I'm gonna defend this turn. Because now I get to show off the new ability, I can go ahead and get that out of the way. Clock out. Mobilizes all enemies for a short period of time. Press A, B, or X appears over the enemy, tap that button. So, yeah. Oh, so you rapidly, pu you rapidly push it, that's right. And you know it's a change that it changes over time, and now it's, he's mobilized. Uh, I believe you can also mobilize your uh, your crowd, which I don't know what that does. But yeah, uh, stat specs are still implied or still applied onto the enemies. Uh, not stat specs. Um, special abilities like the Prime Plan having this, or technically being, being considered a spike enemy. But yeah. Now, right there, you also know the clock out only costs two, two star power. So already we have a bit of a difference from uh, the last game, where like every every star power cost whatever number it was you got in, in like the third level. Always was three. Okay, so I think that's gone. I'm just trying to avoid battles right now. <coughs> um, and you go, like your level three star power will always be like three star points, um, and so on and so forth. This one's like there's a couple that are two. 
Um, then you got stars, not star storm, the, the equivalent star uh, earthquake. Then you got clock items. Then you got one other attack that's uh, that's a uh, brain farting. Oh, wait, no, we don't have that wrong one. Oh, I'm thinking of the wrong stuff. I don't think we'll get, we get that until next chapter, actually. But there, we just took out that enemy. <laughs> that shows you how much drama we've gotten. And then that happens. Um, see, right here, you can see we can just take out these enemies and, well, well actually, time is correctly, you can take these out in one hit. Uh, right now, they're not really worth the experience right, anymore, because they're only one star point. Um, and for all the work that we're doing right here, just for two star points, it's really not worth it. Nah. Stop with the phone calls. I so screwed up on that one. <laughs> oh, well, it died anyway. Uh, this can also affect your crowd, your crowd status too. If you don't time things right, you end up slipping up on the jump like I, like I just did. Well, that could happen too. So you took, so like you just took a da important damage for nothing. So yeah. Um. But anyway, now that we got that out of the way. Uh, right here we have a thing that we can use for Madame Flurry. <coughs> Let's just get that out of the way. Get that. But this is a badge. Oh yeah, Happy Heart Partner. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, we got a new badge slot from because we leveled up. Um, I'll do that. Uh, Damn, that's pretty good. It's a pretty good badge. I don't think I've talked about that yet, have I? I don't go into multi bounds. Um, I don't normally equip the 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 partner badges. Um, primarily because you don't need them. You really you really don't need the badges. I mean, happy heart. Your 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 partner's not going to get hit very often. You got you got to worry about yourself more than your partner. All, in all honesty, your partner's not going to. Your partner's not. If your partner dies, that's fine. You can just switch to another partner. If you die, it's game over. Um. So yeah. <sighs> and like the power increasing stuff for the partners. Oh, that might be that might be useful too. That might be that might be useful. But at the same time, it's like they usually cost more than yours. Usually, I think the happy heart wouldn't cost the same, but either way. Uh, so we got. Interesting. Shouldn't we have two two stars floating around us now? Second one, yeah. The second one should be like right below the green one. Yeah. Again. Emulator issues. It's not that it's the emulator's fault. It's the fault of the ROM, actually, I think. It's like, no matter how good your emulator is, your ROM is always going to be the one that's... You got you to gotta make sure you get a good condition ROM. And hell, sometimes that's not even an option. Um... I'm sure all of you remember, I'm sure all of you long time watchers <coughs> have rem remembered my Donkey Kong Country 2 Let's Play when we went into uh, that one area with the, with the arrow barrels, with the directional pad barrels. Um, it was a nightmare. That was a nightmare. I had to, I had to cheat to get through. I talked to one of my friends who all he does is, is use ROMs. He's never actually played a... He has like an, a, a phone or something like uh, one of the smartphones that has a cable of emulation that he's, that he's hacked or whatever. I don't know, I don't know what he did. <coughs> but he said he ran into that same problem with, in, with those barrels. 
And he had never played Donkey Kong Country. He tried to explain to him that's not how the game actually works. <coughs> I, know I'm, I know I normally be talking through this here, but I just felt like I'd kind of... I'm 20 minutes in already, so... And that's the... And that door been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Stars. <coughs> in order to op open that seal, we have to muster the power of the Crystal Stars. Perhaps I'm just doubt, but why would they want to steal the treasure away at all? There's few thieves and brigands. If not, then what? No, that's not. Hmm. That's not what? I don't know! Frankly, please. I'm sorry. So sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. The problem is no one's even sure what... It was that it caused the town's demise. All that's written in this is darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. Let's research this more. Soon we'll just make him, well, you know the same. <laughs> oh yes, how inappropriate. <laughs> especially, especially for a Nintendo game. That's kind of surprised to get away with that. In any case, what about the location of the Crystal Star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. <clears throat> There's a stunning arena where the, there were great warriors engaged in furious battles. Ostensibly, they would go there on vacation or lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world rage over the mountains. A floating city, you say? Why are you supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. I don't know, if only, if only knew a guy from previous adventure, you know, someone who had wings and delivered the mail, he could have flown us up there. <laughs> Special balloon flies, th flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get tickets is through certain channels. Oh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know. I guess I have. No, I don't have much choice. Where on the street is, I'll take it to go through Don Pianta on the west side. Don Pianta. <laughs> Head west from Rogueport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta. Pianta Syndicate Head. Apparently, Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Hmm, I like the sound of Don Pianta, fellow. I cannot wait to meet him here. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a, re is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Okay, so there's something I gotta say about this, about Don Pianta. I think it's pretty much painfully obvious by this point that he's a Pianta from, you know, Super Mario Sunshine. Naming himself Don Pianta. It's like naming himself Don Human. Or having the Mafia leader being Don Italian. Or the, or if you want to go for a little more obscure, but more accurate to the game, Yakuza member being Don Japanese. <laughs> yeah, I know a little. I went to Rumble Top of Gano. Oh, right. Um, we weren't gonna read through all this. No, <coughs> <coughs> oh, you know he has a kind of an interesting brown blooper. Now we're gonna talk to him real quick. Hey there, I'm Bluey. And this guy's an, a total liar. Don't listen to him. Here's a story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up blood landing in lava. Lava, man! I think that feel. You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm all done. My pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay for taking my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi! So yeah, <laughs> I think we talked about this earlier, but he has a, he has his own adventure where he think where he tries to make it seem like his adventure is all good and everything. And if you talk to, the, to his allies, they like 
they like talk about all the bad stuff that happens, really. Um, but anyway, I think we're gonna end the episode off here for now. So the next episode, we'll be looking for Don Pianta. Until then, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>